Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Secrets and Tips video. This video is part of our Super Mario Sunshine series where I'm going to show you how to get every single Shine Sprite in the game. If you like this video, make sure you leave me a like or you can subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any more secrets. You can also join me over on my Twitch channel here. I'm probably live streaming right now. Thanks again for joining us, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey. This time we're going over Rico Harbor. Let's start with episode 1. Gloopy Blooper breaks out. You can see that Glooper making a mess over there, and his tentacle all sticking out. There's a couple ways you can get to Mr. Blooper, and some of them are a lot quicker than others. It kind of depends on how your jumping skills are. Jump across this moving platform, that'll help you get to the next platform, where you can start jumping up this chain link cage area. After navigating through the cage, you'll find another one of these moving platforms to help you get to the next platform. From here you're going to want to use your spray nozzle on that big giant fan to make the submarine come out of the gloopy water. Then you can run across the submarine and use your hover pack to make it to the next platform by the wall. And then from here you just have to get up onto the main street level. Once you've made your way to Mr. Blooper, just walk up and grab that tentacle and start pulling on it as hard as you can. The objective here is to flatten one of his tentacles. Once it's flattened, walk up and grab it and then start walking in the opposite direction to pull it off. If you're having trouble getting him to attack you with his tentacles, spray him in the face with the French perfume. And once you've ripped off the poor guy's tentacles, walk up to his nose, grab it, and do the same thing. Then you'll see Mr. Blooper has made a return and grown back his tentacles. So what do you gotta do? Rip him off again. And once you pulled off the last tentacle, go back in for the nose job. After torturing Mr. Blooper, you can pick up your first Shine Sprite of Rico Harbor. Shine Sprite, Shine Sprite, turn on the sprite that shines your sprite. Now let's go over the second Shine Sprite of Rico Harbor, Blooper Surfing Safari. For this one, all you have to do is make your way to that dock, jump on one of those bloopers, and make your way over to this cave. Once you make it inside the cave, talk to this guy to start your blooper surfing safari. For this time, you basically have to make it without running into anything. I took over 40 seconds to beat it and still got the shine sprite. Look at that, you did it, you fat little plumber. Next up is the third shine sprite in Rico Harbor, the caged shine sprite. This time, we're gonna head over to this other ship to start our adventure. From the other side of the ship, make your way onto this moving platform. Jump off the platform and climb up this chain link fence to get to the next area. Once you get to the other side of this chain link fence, you're gonna have to jump onto the candy cane crane and take that to the other side. From there, jump onto this moving platform and that's gonna take you up to the blue rails. Make your way to the other side of the blue rails, over by where you started, and you'll find another candy cane crane that you can take across to the next section. From the crane, you'll make it to this chain link fence area where you can jump up to the next higher level of blue railing. Jump across these little gaps and you can spray these bloopers right off the rail. Here's where you get a chance to actually pick up the rocket nozzle, which is going to be great if you fall off because then you can just shoot up to the shine sprite from underneath the cage. After that it's just a couple of trampoline jumps up to the top of the yellow cage where your shine sprite is. Next up for Rico Harbor is Shine Sprite number 4, the secret of Rico Tower. And you can see the tower we're looking for is just off to the left of where you first start make your way over onto this boat. From the boat, get on top of the chimney stack and you can spin jump all the way over to that platform by the Rico Tower entrance. Nailed it. Now we just have to go inside. Alright, all we have to do for this shine sprite is make our way across a bunch of rotating blocks. Having good control of the camera angle is going to help a lot in this level. And when you get to the first part that's not spinning, do some wall jumps to pick up a 1-up. And then for this next rotating block area, you'll notice the blocks are in another direction. It makes it a little bit more difficult, but a couple of well-timed spin jumps can help you make your way over to that 1-up no problem. Just a few more rotating blocks from there and you'll make it to the end with your next Shine Sprite. Now let's get Shine Sprite number 5. This one is Glooper Blooper Returns, just like Petey Piranha, these guys don't get it. Make your way over to where we first fought the blooper, and you can get on top of these fruit towers. From this fruit tower, you should be able to side jump or spin jump and hover to make it to the helicopter pad. From here, it's that same old game of smashing his tentacles, grabbing them, and slowly pulling each one off. 
Remember, after you pull off all four, you're gonna have to pull his nose, and then they're all gonna regenerate, and you're gonna do the whole thing over again. But sure enough, once you pull his nose that second time, we're finally gonna be done dealing with the blooper in Rico Harbor. That just feels like a well-earned Shine Sprite. Shine Sprite number six, red coins on the water. That's right, for this one, we're going blooper surfing again. So head over to the big bad daddy blooper burfers at your favorite Piata, the blooper that's right, Big Daddy Blooper Surfer. And just like the other times we've had to collect eight red coins, you're gonna wanna jump on this big red button to get things started. After that, pick your favorite blooper, hop on your favorite blooper, and we'll start surfing around the lake. The first one is pretty self-explanatory, you just come right across it. Second one and third one are right in front of those. You basically just have to keep following this path of coins. You can see the fourth one just up here, and then we're gonna have to turn to the right. Head in between these towers and to the left a little bit, and you can see the next red coin, number five, out on the outskirts there. You're going to have to jump to get coin number six. Then just jump over the submarine if you like to head straight towards coin number seven. Coin number eight is hidden in between these two boats here. With all eight red coins, just head back to the docks and collect your shine sprite. Now who's the blooper surfing big daddy? Number seven, Shadow Mario Revisited. And you can see this time Shadow Mario starts right in front of you, so just start chasing him and spraying him and hopping all over the place. Once Shadow Mario gets to the other side of the ship, he's going to jump up onto that smokestack. And from there, he's going to make his way up onto those blue railings. And he'll stay up on these blue platforms until you defeat him, so you just got to try not to fall off. Shine Sprite number 8, Yoshi's Fruit Adventure. This one gave me a lot of difficulty the first time through, because there's some things they don't explain about Yoshi. First of all, you won't even be able to play this level unless you've already unlocked Yoshi over at Pina Park. What you want to do is make your way over to where we first fought the Glooper Blooper. I think the quickest way is by hopping in this sewer, but you don't have to take that that way, just make your way over to these fruit towers however you like to get there. When you get on the fruit towers, you have to ground pound the levers until you get the right piece of fruit to pop out. You can jump back and forth between the two towers and keep hitting the switches to keep having fruit come out. But three's the limit, you can't have more than three pieces of fruit come out of the machine. If you have three pieces and it's none of the fruit that you need, pick them up and throw them off the edge. Then you can jump back on top and start pounding the levers for fruit again. What we're looking for is this one. I'm assuming it's a Dorian fruit, and just to make things more difficult, it's the only fruit you can't pick up, so you're gonna have to kick it over to the Yoshi egg. Take Yoshi over by that cliff on the other side of this crowd, and spray one of the fishes that jumps out of the water to create a platform. Notice how Yoshi is spraying purple juice, and he's creating purple platforms, and that platform is traveling horizontally. That's how you're gonna make it out to this platform. Oh, and spoiler alert, in case you don't know, Yoshi dies if he touches water, so be careful. But here's what they don't tell you. You can jump up to this tree over here and collect a different piece of fruit for Yoshi. Now that Yoshi's gonna eat this piece of fruit, you'll notice he turns pink. On top of that, when he sprays one of these fish they'll turn into a pink platform and pink platforms don't go horizontally they travel vertically and that's what you need to complete the rest of this platforming part of course I have no idea how anyone would find that out that's got to be one of the most well hidden secrets that you need to beat this level once you make it up to the final platform get Yoshi to spray his fruit juice all over the fire covering up the star now that that's done you can hop off Yoshi climb up on top of the cage, and ground pound your way to the next Shine Sprite. Now let's pick up the secret Shine Sprite in Episode 4, The Secret of Rico Tower. Ah oh yes, let me tell you, this course is so much easier now that we have the hover nozzle. But we do have to collect the 8 red coins, so smash that button and let's get started. And the first red coin can be found on the second rotating block. Red coin number 2 is on the fourth rotating block. When you get to the wall jumping part with the 1-up, wall jump past the 1-up to pick up red coins number 3 and 4. The middle gear has red coin number 5 on it. From the platform with the nails, you can pick up red coin number six on the second rotating block. On the next rotating block is where you pick up the one up, 
and as you jump to the next rotating block, you'll pick up red coin number 7. The second to last rotating block is where we'll pick up red coin number 8, which is gonna unlock the shine sprite. You did it, Mario. Maybe you're not so fat after all. The other way to pick up a secret shine sprite is to go visit your favorite Pianta, the blooper surfing big daddy. Hop on one of those bloopers and head back into the cave where you did the blooper surfing the first time around. But this time we're gonna need a much faster time, so I'm gonna show you the quickest way around the racetrack. The first shortcut we're gonna take is here by the cones. Jump over this ledge to get a big head start. The next big shortcut is just up ahead. The road snakes back and forth, but you can turn and just jump over the middle of each path. Use these shortcuts to beat this track in under 30 seconds and he'll give you a second shine sprite. You did it, Mario! And finally, you can pick up a Shine Sprite for collecting 100 coins in Rico Harbor. I'm gonna do this in the Caged Shine Sprite area. Start off by hopping in the sewers. There's lots of coins down in the sewers. By the time we come out of the other end of the sewers, we're already up to 38 coins. Make your way to the blue railing above the fountain to pick up another 8 coins. Snag the rocket nozzle, head to Rico Tower, and you can rocket nozzle above that to pick up another group of coins. You'll find a couple of coins on top of that other smaller ship by Rico Harbor. If you can spray these squid guys and jump on them instead of knocking them off, they'll give you a coin. There's also a good amount of coins you can find on the blue railing if you explore it all. You can see there's some over there by wall jumping. These moving cranes also had a good amount of coins. Don't forget to check on the back end of the crane here. Then just walk to the front of the crane and stand still to pick up another little group of coins. There's also some coins hiding out underwater. And the other place you can pick up coins is out in the ocean if you have the rocket nozzle. Just try to line your shadow up with the coin shadow and then use the rocket nozzle to be able to pick up the coins. Once you get a hundred coins, the shine sprite will appear over where you found Yoshi. And there it is, our 100 coin shine sprite. That's gonna be all for today's shine sprite video. Aww. Thanks again for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey.